part of the church. My family started coming to Smooch in 2015, and we became members nearly a year after that. <clears throat> I had no idea at the time that finding a home here at Smooch was one of the sparks in a series of events that would eventually lead me to a life free from addiction. That was three years and eight months ago today. So for part of me, the heart of who I am is a person who once had an alcohol addiction. As you know, I've been pretty open about my experiences, and I've always felt accepted here, and for that, I thank all of you. Recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of every person, false included, is at the heart of who we are. Before I finally quit my addiction, I failed many times. I also just tried cutting back. If some people can do that, I couldn't. Another spark that helped me in my recovery was realizing that I was stuck in a normal and predictable loop. It often takes multiple attempts to make it through the stages of change and suffering. <coughs> Repeatedly failing is a common but frustrating <clears throat> part of the process. Armed with this knowledge, I was able to alter my thinking and approach the process with confidence. Confidence that kept me from putting myself down. Confidence to succeed. Truth and meaning were beginning to appear simply because I started looking. A seeker for truth and meaning is what the heart of who I am. Supporting a search for the truth and meaning is at the heart of who we are. So where did I find truth and meaning? Beyond the two sparks I already mentioned, finding evidence-based recovery support was crucial. I happen to find that in smart recovery, but there are many methods to recovery out there. The method a person chooses can and should be customized to fit the needs of the person. What works for me might not work for someone else. The heart of who I am is unique. Acceptance of one another despite our differences is to the heart of who we are. Another key factor in my recovery is that the little things, perhaps unexpected sparks, they mean a lot. A passing comment in a recovery meeting passage from a book or article about sobriety on mental health or mental health, excuse me, mental health, or the explanation of a complex idea by a meeting leader or participant. Small sparks of knowledge from others can have benefits far beyond what the person who provided the spark will ever know. When we volunteer to help someone with a difficult problem like in a recovery meeting, we see that meeting from our point of view, and sometimes our point of view isn't always accurate. Even after meetings that didn't seem particularly helpful at the time, I always have to remind myself that even though I may never know for sure, someone in that meeting may have needed to hear what was said that night. And that little spark of knowledge may have helped change the heart of who they were. Promoting compassion in our relationships is the heart of who we are. And it is with loving kindness and compassion that I consider it a great privilege and honor simply to be involved in helping that struggling person, person catch that spark. It is a part of why I volunteer. Thank you.